Oh, we're on, on the way already. Okay, yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm, what? I'm gonna check for it. Yeah, yeah, we're online. gonna be so chaotic probably <laughs> smokes this no scope for any outside of smokes smokes throws a little hand up he keeps it oh yeah. I mean don't 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 yeah but those engine sounds make up for a whole lot <laughs> oh my god it's my freaking controller it won't change camera views, which is great. So Freeman is on on first position on my on my screen, but he's in a pit, so he won't win this race. Yeah. Oh no, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> As we have three wide into turn one. As he folk takes it from Jack and Lewis. I mean, picking up a p time penalty in these kind of races is probably dead ending for you. Yeah. Is he focused round, I think? Is he not? That's great by Ace as well, yeah. Couldn't see where it happened, but... If we're looking at the... the oh, the bloody chicane. I mean, yeah, you, what, kind of, what kind of strategy would you run? I mean, five lap races. S, is that Copmaster going round? It is. So Smokes pick up another place. S is Rio Venom. I mean, what would your strategy be? Just taking it easy into turn one and see if you can get... Exactly, yeah. yeah. This beast is going down the inside of Lewis into turn one. He just did it. Yeah, per as well. Time penalties flying, yeah, and Chris Bear already, yeah. So that should be interesting for the final crossing of the line. Who picks up the least penalties probably wins this race, huh? S. Phantom is round. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, there's like five people fighting for P6, I think that is. If you vote, losing it. Yeah. P5 even, wow. Yes, my controller just isn't working for me. Great stuff. Can't switch out to those cars. Up now, yeah. I mean, it's hard to keep track of what's happening on the, on the track. But, 
I try our best. This Grace Bear just picks up a penalty as well. Power goes deep. Oh. Oh, is it? Um, I'll we'll have a look after. Yeah, we'll have a look after this race, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> no worries. I'll take over from here then. This Puda just is 4.1 seconds in the lead from Gas and Smoke. So Smoke, I think he wasn't lost at the beginning of this race, almost lost, up into P3 now. Puda is probably going to win this race as we are on the final lap. I mean, that, that fight for P6 is kicking off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and scopes almost get hit off the track. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking at smoke, he's half a second behind gas. Are you going for the overtake or just take the P3 and take your points from there? I mean, no, exactly. I mean, knowing smoke, we'll probably go for it, but it's a ride on balls for him for the last few meters of this race. Race one here in France. Yeah, he's probably, yeah, he's going to go for it. He's going to go for it. I'm sure he is. White line. Oh, gas defense is good. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, Smokes lose it. Lost it. Ah, oh, he's got a bit of luck. The way he, he's gonna get P4 now. How about the time penalties? Beast picks five. Deficient into five. Beast dropping. Yeah, does penalty. I mean, we talked about it, right? Are oh, you going and Smoke? Kind of went for it, lost it on the exit, and lose the place to that. I mean, that would be harsh on him if he doesn't make it into the top 10. As the first race already finished, I mean, like, th these races are gonna fly by. Run us to the th top 10, please. Yeah, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Alright, so I'll go to the Twitch. Yeah, so thoughts on that first race? So there, I mean, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, chaotic, what we wanted to do I think every off. race will be the same, kind of. Yeah. I mean, these cars are fun to drive, so people probably have a good time. Whilst yeah, the, the only problem is that, as we've noticed from France already, is you just get so many penalties around these tracks, it's mad. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, Japan yeah, should just... be less penalties in the race. So. Yeah, I'd like to hope so. But um, anything can happen in these five lap races. We've learned that already quite a few in some of our invitationals, like 
on Wednesday, so many different things were happening and everyone wasn't expecting it. So, um, yeah, literally anything can happen in these invitationals and uh, it's very exciting yeah, to see what I just happens. checked, I can hear your voice on stream, so that problem is, problem is solved. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. Yes, okay. Yeah. Go ahead then. So, yeah. Uh, so, of course, you didn't hear me the first time I said it, but that's fine. So, just a quick overview. <laughs> of, of course, welcome to this second lockdown invitational. And uh, with Summit League Racing. And I'm very excited to bring it alongside Dylan, of course. Hey, what's up, guys? So, yeah, the format um, is as following. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, three races of five laps around in grid one around France. Uh, Japan and Bahrain, the next race. Uh, the top 10 of those th uh, three races will go on to the final as we have a second grid in about, I mean, what's probably going to be like 15 to 20 minutes with. Oh, it's, it's raining now. Raining. It's going to be interesting. Big. Yeah, those dynamic uh, weather playing its part. So we'll have yeah. a second grid in about 20 minutes. That top 10 of that grid is also going to the final, and then we have one major final. And in those three races, We'll get a winner, we'll get a second place or third place, as you like. I mean, interesting races, especially with the yeah. rain kicking up. How many people yeah, have the, the uh, set up for Japan? Very interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't know how, how many people have probably thought about these about setups for the rain. And uh, it was the very last minute we decided to go for dynamic weather. It was dynamic, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm excited now. It's uh, kind of, I'm quite happy to watch this rather than racing it like I had yeah, in Hungary. Yeah, the racing is. Five lights are out. All right, here we go. Five lights. And here we go. It's Grace Bear starts on Grace pole. Grace Bear starts from He's pole. He's the lucky guy. Yeah. Oh, someone's straight on the grass at the start. I think yeah, that's DRN's smoke. Yeah, he was. He's straight on the grass at the start. I had a bit of wheel spin. As if he goes to oh, turn one. people go wide, yeah. And a few people, people have gone wide, wide there, wow. I can see. Someone's gone really wide. I can't quite see who it is. Right, back to where I was supposed to be. So uh, off the start, Paraquix has gained two positions. He's up to second place, which is really good. Um, City Bunny is in first. As Lewis OD has gone around in gravel on uh, just on the exit, just so, before the end of the S's uh, as well. I mean, could That's going to be his race is done. horrible. Same as Copmaster, his game is done. It's, yeah, it his be. race is done and as division. well. And division. Oh, as with a yeah, with a major. I mean, this that. race isn't done for the point. Yeah. The 10th and wow. 15th place just crashing out. As uh, there so goes smokes, Lewis OD right onto the gravel that. there. Yeah. Silly he bunnies. comes back on the track and oh, he's colliding a bit with VR, VR oh. Venom. Jesus. Cold VR Venom is all over the place and he's gone right. into the barrier. Oh, gutted for him. What's going to happen with Codmaster? Is Codmaster going to go through? Yes, he is. He's managed to get, get through. Okay, that's always good to see. So Lewis, the biggest Lewis of lap one. That's crazy. Yeah. Just Loves these conditions, I guess. Same for Para. He was quick as well yesterday in the wet in Div One. He obviously won the race. I mean, happy days for those guys. Is uh, looking at oh, there's a, a really close between um, third and fourth assassin and GSR Pluto. They're right yeah. on the back of each other. Ooh, Ooh. Looks, was that a bit of a tank slapper there from Pluto? So. I couldn't really tell. Assassin's gonna try to get a slipstream. Let's see what he can do with that. That's beast. No, he's he's better with it. it. Alright. He's probably yeah, just dumps a chance at P4. No. Beast it. Keeps it. I mean, yeah. 10, 10 to 15th place just crashed out on lap 1. So they're fighting for a point at least. Anything yeah, can happen can in the Red two races. second gap there, two and a half second gap from uh, City Bunny and Knight to Scopes in 10th. And, tenth. and uh, we were yeah. talking about that strategy in the first race, and I think this is a perfect example kind of what I was it's saying. Now, uh, you just don't want to pick up too many penalties, you just want to stay exactly, in the running yeah. and you'll get a point at he least. He down the inside kind of, of what dubs here. and he takes it. Does he? Yeah, he does. Great move by him, up four places. Yeah, is uh, so ERN smokes up seven positions. Yes, yeah, Parra, Parra. That's over speed on Grace. 
on Crazy Bear. He thinks better of it into this turn. Wow. Leaders are going for a really scrap, quick. that's what we like yeah. to see. They have a five There's their scopes, he's lost two positions there. Was that three positions, maybe? I didn't quite see, but he's clearly gone a bit wide in, uh, and he through goes under what I believe well. was uh, the uh, hairpin there. Kind of forgotten the name, but that's fine. <laughs> Spoon. Oh, and we are Venom's out no, 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 no. I think he's oh, just decided he retires. to retire. Yeah, he just decided yeah. to retire. And Crazed Bear, our leader, has got a 10 second time penalty. Oh boy. He so that must have been the final cut, chicane, he's just yeah, cut he just straight cut over the final it. chicane, yeah, exactly. Wow. So Para is just going to win this race. Para doesn't, that, as I mean, long as he doesn't do anything completion. stupid or crazy, he should be fine. Exactly. As I mean, just Eli like Hamilton yesterday's race. spun round just at the start oh of the chicane. And he he's got a 10 second time penalty well. for it yeah. as well. He didn't even I mean, those barely time penalties did it. Killing you. Oh, ERN Smoke is round, as well as Lewis O'D on, on the start oh, straight of all places. Smoke into pick six at the time, I think. He was. They were both quite up there, I think. As Smoke's lose it again, yeah. His race is done. Yeah, I think that might be it for There's, Smoke, and yeah. he can perhaps do something. But, uh, you know, Gaps it's are right. creating now. Yeah, there's quite big gaps. I mean, the closest gap on the field is currently the battle for ninth, I think. It's will be like between the, yeah. Division and Scopes. Yeah, and then Corp Master for 12, but that's no point, so... Yeah. So, uh, we can say... Yeah, I mean, Paraquix was it's looking like he could get something. I'm pretty sure he's done what we said he might do and just hang back. Just, uh, yeah, as long exactly. as he doesn't pick just up any penalties, he's going to finish ahead yeah. of Grace there anyway. I mean, he probably, uh, he probably asked Jeff for... The time penalties, he would have told him for 10 yeah, seconds he and he would just stick it. behind him. Yeah. Pretty sure they were neck and neck just before. That's Evoke is well, off the so. track as well and before, so that's Beast with a free spot. Yeah. Can Dubs capitalize on him as well? Here we go. He might try it through 130 yard there. He's decided against it. That would have been a bit risky if he did. Must be said. Yeah, especially in the rain. As Grace picks up the fastest lap, he won't. A lot of fun with that. There's a Evokes right on the back of well Assassin in these, now. In these five as they go races. through the start from the stream. Oh! Oh, he focuses around and he lost the back the end and he's gone straight in there. Wow. I mean, there's going to be a lot of positions lost to him. Yeah, he's gone. That's that. He's gone down to eighth place. He was fifth yeah. then, then. Was Bundy. he fourth? Fifth? Yeah. He was on. He was trying to battle Assassin for fourth. As Hamilton is as just. Wiz has retired. Oh, no, he hasn't. It's yeah, ER Hamilton's been yeah, disqualified. Yeah. This that's just nice disqualified, that. probably just picking up too many penalties, yeah. Probably cu cutting yeah. The, the chicane as well on the last turn. A smoke picked as up the time penalty smokers as well. As well. I mean, and that looks like it was probably well. the final yeah. chicane as well. Yeah, he's going into the pit, probably retiring. The scope is and he gets a three second time penalty for speed and just for his troubles. Yeah. As he, yeah, he retires in and the pit retires, lane. retires, yeah. Sad for the him. scope's in the vision is like the only real fight on track. Dubs yeah, that was a decent these. battle for P9. Of course, there is still points is. with possibility there. So, that's I mean, who would have th who would have thought of a wet Japan setup? I don't think yeah. anyone has a setup for this. For this Especially race. in these Coach cars Lewis, as well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So if two retirements and a disqualification. I mean, it's hard to dis to get disqualified in a five lap race. So, yeah, props on that. <laughs> As Evoke is on the back of, check this out. Crazy Bear trying to open up that gap. I mean, the gap to P3 is more than 10 seconds now. So he'll take second as, as it stands now. Yeah, so as Evoke uh, goes down the inside of yeah, check this out. Else. It's a little dive bomb, and he takes it. Which will be right on the back of him there. As Scopes has just got himself a three second time penalty from 310. That will But as we go through the final lap, of course it's Crow's bearing the lead, but he probably won't have that for long once he crosses the line. I mean, it's only a four second no. gap to Paraquix, but. Yeah. That's but all it's that 12 seconds to the second. Seconds. Yeah, it's, tw it's 12 seconds to uh, P3, so it'll take second then. That's yeah, the he should do, unless he's got any other penalties, yeah. which I can't remember if yeah. he does. Me neither. Um, me neither. 
It's Assassin in fourth, I mean, via yeah, Dubscap, just not behind him, and Silly yeah. Bunny's just closing on them as well. Yeah, but you're on the last lap in Web Japan. Would you go for another place if you're at the top five or top six? Would you go for it? I'll just take the position I and think pick up those points. No, solid exactly. points. I mean, we saw with Smoke, he yes. tried it on the... He was, yeah, and he lost tried it. it. He tried to go and for second on the last lap, the last race, yeah, didn't he? On I the mean, last corner, he lost it. So, uh, go so through if you will, but it could anywhere. come back to bite you. Yeah, exactly. No, it, it probably wouldn't have bought him in uh, in those first race because he picked up P4, but... Gaz has just picked up a two so second time yeah, penalty. That's massive. Exactly. He's got City Bunny right on the back of him. I mean, Smoke just picked up a DNF in this race before in the first race. I mean, he's gonna get a, going to need a good result as Dubs is faster than these as he taps him from behind oh is there going to be problems for him these has got a three second time, time penalty, penalty there that, for corner cutting that's not fair on him yeah. yeah that's hard to check this out that's got a 10 second beast time takes it, yeah so yeah beast i mean luckily luckily beast didn't have, have, have that many bunny. penalties i mean that would be would have been votes uh, taken p6 as the vision comes <laughs> around the final corner takes it on P7, and there right. you have it. Scopes are losing out so, of points because of them penalties. Yeah, as he actually goes down to 12th at the end there as well, I think I saw. Oh, even 12. So Paraquix takes the win uh, due to penalties for Craze there, as we were expecting. And uh, let's have a quick run down of the top 10 once I can see it. Yeah. Just waiting for it to load in. So we've got Paraquix in third, Praise Bear in second, GSR Pluto third, UK Beast Assassin in fourth, V Dubs Gaz in fifth, Evoke Replays in sixth, Division in seventh, Silly Bunny in eighth, Lewis OD in ninth, and rounding off the points in tenth is check this out. Got 12 seconds of penalties he did as well. I'm expecting that uh, hopefully, if it's not wet in Bahrain, we won't get too many penalties, but there are some corners around Bahrain that can get a few penalties. It's a smoke got 18 penalty, 18 seconds worth of penalties. That's absolutely mad. I mean, how many, how many did uh, your your Hamilton get for being disqualified? True. Way too many. I don't know how much. I mean, have I a look at that incident report. Disqualified. Have a look at that incident report. Time penalties everywhere. <laughs> and uh, in his three laps. Eli Hamilton got a penalty, then two penalties, then two penalties, and a disqualification in just those three laps that he took part. Yeah, not even five laps, just three laps. Yeah. I mean, take a bow. I mean, it should be dry in, in <laughs> Bahrain. I think a lot of drivers hope for that as well. Some tricky turns there, but... As at this very moment, Pluto hey. leads leads yeah. everyone from Gas, Paraquick, Grace Bear, Beast in fifth, Division is in sixth, Evoke in seven, Cobmiles in eight, Smoke in nine. So he, I mean, he's all right. It, that P4 in the first race probably got him a ticket for the final race if he gets a good result in this next race. Silly Bunny rounds off the top ten. We have Lewis on a point, Scopes no points, and We of Venom no points as well as Eero. Eor Hamilton joins back in. I mean, Pluto say for the final, as is Gas, as is Quicks, as is Grace Boy and Beast, even the Vision and Evoke, I think, are just all safe for the final race, right? They should be, yeah. We're gonna see it. I mean, if it's if it's raining in Bahrain, I'll just love my ass off. That will cause some scenes. As it's dry, obviously. It's 
waiting another 20 seconds. As the party is just kind of glitching right now, so I wonder if my co commentator is making the start. If we have five lights, away we go. That's pole position. But Beast takes it. Great stuff. And is there going to be any crushing into turn one? A bit of archie bargy. But oh, Beast turns around. He got turned around there. It's now third. He's going to make that turn home. That round, and he gets collected. Oh, face luck and smoke there as he. Two second time penalty for that as well. He manages to pick it up. Ninth now. The race just it's been fairly apart apart as Copmaster leads one the 1.7 and fourth Rabian in as Crazeback overtakes dubs into T yeah as Paraquist is down the outside the inside of Beast Assassin he is he gonna make that? I mean, it's a similar situation to what happened on the first. Better beast rejoin the track. Feel any pressure? That's a big question. Does he feel pressure? Top ten at least for the top ten over Pluto. He gets a good exit. Third. Mm. No, he thinks that's everywhere. My screen at least. Times back and great. Okay. No DRS on these cars. Race by with City Bunny. I mean, they're almost losing it. I'm probably not on his. Just. Yeah, but I mean, the whole lobby is just laggy. Race. It's all fine by me. We have a little 6, 7, and 8. Fight for 10th as well between Feminine. Would like to pick up the 9th place from Para Quicks. Crazy vision. Get inside curb. Spun you cop around a Pluto. Won't. Want to pick up a two. That will cop. At least he'll drop down to P4 now. I mean, these these battles for P2. Copmaster probably loving this as well. He'll make it, the gap bigger as Pluto's down the inside of Hamilton. And the vision taps him. Ooh, that could have been nasty. As Dubs is round, no, he's not. He's just fighting with Silly Bunny. As is Grace Bear. Grace Bear in the slipstream of Silly Bunny. Tries to go around the outside, but great defending by Silly Bunny. He thinks better of it. Vision is trying on UR Hamilton, who has lagged out of the party, or out of this race, as I may say. He's just pushing him in on the track, wants to get to the right side of the circuit. He'll, he'll overtake him as Hamilton just lags down to 13 as he spun on, what was that, corner 8, turn 8. So that's a free position for Division. As Copmaster is almost at the last corner already. And he'll start the last lap as Hamilton has left the session again, so his, his internet isn't working for him. As Grace Bear and Silly Bunny are fighting for P5. And Grace Bear holds it. Is that going to give dubs? Even Pyra. Pyra gets the best run out of all of them. Four people fighting for one position. You'd love to see it. Pyra in the 
Is it going to be three plays into one over Tay? Ooh, gets pushed onto the, onto the grass. As pa yeah, Para gets it. Does he? Yeah, he gets it easily. So there's three guys as City Bunny. Is that City Bunny? Oh, that's Grace Bear, I think. Yeah, Grace Bear got shoved up. But Para takes it. Three. He overtook three cars on one straight. Great stuff by him. City Bunny would like that P6 of gas. Smokes is in the top 10 as well now. Great race by Division, picks up 8 places. As is Pluto with 6 and Cobmas with 3. Division on 4 tens of Pluto. Would he like that second spot as well? As City Bunny is around, is he? He rejoins the track. Does that give Smoke position to one already one on this lap? Does he take another? It's a battle for P8. Smokes get pushed off by City Bunny. Is he able to pick up the strip the slipstream from City Bunny in turn 14? It's defensive. Smokes around the side. No, oh, he won't get that. City Bunny probably gonna take this one. What's gonna happen with the time penalty? That's interesting as well. As City Bunny goes up to seven with Beast at eight, Smoke at ten, Gracebear takes the last point. As Copmaster wins the race with Pluto on second and Division on third with only two and a half tenths behind him. So great racing around Bahrain. It will have a final top ten. Wondering who would go to the final grid as well, to the final races. Right, hello right, folks. Sorry, it's me again. Um, sorry for all the uh, some of the connection issues that we experienced in that lobby. It seemed to be just general internet for everyone. It wasn't just a streamer; it was everybody. So, apologies for that. It seems to have stabilised now, but it seems to have kicked Owen out, and he can't get back in. So, at the minute, well, not at the minute. It's me taking over from Owen's co-com position. He's still got Dylan though. Somewhere, there or thereabouts, he's here. Um, I'm currently in the second lobby, making sure everyone's ready to go. We are a little bit late, as this one's gone a little bit longer than expected, but not to worry on that front. Who are we waiting on? Wait on a few drivers. Where is... In oh, perfect. Right. That's perfect, thank you very much. So there's our top ten of the guys who have made it through to the final grid. Um, we've got 
GSR Pluto, Codmaster, Paraquix, VW's Gas, Division, Evoke, UK Beast Assassin, Crazed Bear, Crazed Bear, ERN Smoke, and Silly Bunny. Right, here we are for the next three. Next three races. Where are we this time? We are in. You can find it somewhere, I promise you. Um, Mexico to start off, then we're in Brazil, and then we are in China before we all go to the final grids in Abu Dhabi, Singapore, and Spain. Right, didn't need that. Yeah, quickly gonna check. I need to make a. Uh, I need to send a message to one. So if you commentate on this one, I'll probably join in mid race. Uh, okay. That's fine. Let's just hope we can keep up with the stream. I'll try and give you as many updates as I can. How many of drivers? I think we've got 14 in this grid, so... Four will be missing out. Right, look at those Renault Zealot Magical Five Lights. Hicklin starts on pole. Callum McKeon's next to him. And look at them getting away now. A field full of Renaults here. Darnell and Callum are fighting. Up into turn one. Oh, someone's definitely going to go up the inside there. That doesn't look too good. Luckily, no one seems to have come off badly from that. Hicklin still leads. Callum McKeon's wheel to wheel with him here oh we're getting three one into here Callum McKean's got it has to back out he loses out to Jay Darnell as well with a look a bit but Hicklin takes an aggressive line through there but Darnell's still going to have that and Darnell into P2 he's right on the back of Callum SLR Freeman who's in this lobby now if the problems in the last one is in P4 Mercs who hopes net problems is in P5 playing Teddy in P6 it's Elliot P7 making his SLR debut. Southerner who is Darnell's brother. SLR being 10th. Gareth 11th, original 12th. Motion has a 13th. Rockamo 14th and Callum 15th. Monkey and Gary are going at it. Monkey seems to be lagging a little bit on my screen. Um, and Freeman and Merckx are having a bit of a scrap around turn one. Oh, sorry, coming up to turn one. It's on the final corner. Merck's trying to slipstream Freeman, but not really gaining in, in the straight line whatsoever. Alright, so that's been done. Talk me through it. It's been a good start. Hicklin was in P1, and he's dropped down to P3. Um, at the minute, he's there or thereabouts. Freeman he's got Freeman right inside. behind him, who's going, trying to get the inside, and now going to oh, switch, switch back on him. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, these, yeah, these cars probably, look brilliant, don't they? they do, I love yeah. this car. It's oh, Merckx is right yeah, on the back Merckx of Hickman. Merckx is loving this. It's Gareth picks up P11 from original. He's right behind him here. Oh, Hickman goes oh, wide as well. Right, yeah. Gary right on the back of Monkey. He's lagging all over the shop. He's now lagged to the back of the grid. Monkey's been lagged back right to the back of the grid. Original ran the outside of Gareth. Now inside Gareth, and he's got the move 
done. Yeah, yeah. Motion Ooh, has has got Gareth as well. Motion has oh, Motion has Yeah. That was too eager. Yeah. yeah. It's Donnell's in the city. He's really going Callum McKean. Doesn't really need to take many risks. All you got to do is just get some decent yeah, points. Exactly, You're going to find yeah. yourself in exactly. the final grid. Easily. As yeah, need to take down risks. Down the inside to of Hecklin. As he cuts off the corner massively as Merckx takes it. Yeah. Great move by him. Up in P4. He'll be chasing after Freeman now. The battle for P10, I think, yeah. I mean, it's been uh, it's been clean, apart from the motion uh, the motion crash. Yeah, it's not been too bad. Believe is yeah, it's been fault, decent. But... Turn one, turn one, that one looked a bit tasty at times, but generally it looked okay. It's been. I mean, yeah, you see those time penalties picking up in these five left races. That could kill you in the. Uh, at the end result. Yeah, I just saw original do that. I just was on board with him there when he cut that corner. As Freeman is catching up to Jay Donnell, as he's catching up to Callum McKinnon. Picks up the fastest lap, as, as does Freeman. Because that could be dicey as well. Is Jay Donnell going for a move? He's probably too far back for this lap. I mean, these cars look lovely, don't they? It's plain telly, it's just ahead of Elliot into turn one, two, and three as Monkey picks up the fastest lap. So he'll sh he's showing some pace as Rock Mad is down the inside of Gareth who cuts a corner. I think there's a Twitch error at the minute. Yeah, I is think there? Twitch is having a bit of a problem. Yeah. Right. It says I'm alive with 70 viewers. But... Yeah, it says we're live, but I've just been. I mean, luckily I'm watching it live now. And it's oh, I think the, yeah, the, I think even the side of Twitch, the the website of Twitch is just I think, completely off. Yeah, yeah, Twitch itself is gone. That's a shame. Well, I think people can still hear us. I hope they can. Let me just hold on. Let me just check. Yeah, I can still hear myself on the stream. So people mm, are still okay. we're still watching us when it's gone down. They can still hear us. I think. Yeah, exactly. Not sure whether they can type in stream chat or anything, but I think they can still hear us. But we'll just get to the best we can. Hopefully, it'll still be recording for us. We can still post it to YouTube. But um, we're just gonna try and do the best we can. Monkey's gone. Rockman's around the outside of Gareth. That's a great move by him. Great move. As Gareth just gives him a little love tap for, for the effort. I mean, Freeman's p catching up to Jay Donnell, but is it going to be enough for second place? I don't think so. I, I mean, I talked about it with my co commentator earlier this race. It's, uh, earlier these races. Would you rather go for P3 as Freeman? Would you rather go for P3 or give a dive bomb for P2 and maybe risking it? I'd say you oh, what's the for, point though? Uh, for the, I mean, exactly. if you want, I mean, obviously, fifteen it's, it's, points. To be fair, from our uh, perspective, 15. from our perspective, it's easy to sit here and be like, "What's the point?" Though, but these guys, you know, they're going to be full of adrenaline. They're going to be wanting to go for the best mm -hmm. they can. So, I understand to the extent where they try and do the best they can. Luke sets the fastest lap right at the end. Cements P four. Southerner jumps Teddy. Southerner in P six. So. Good result that for both of the Darnells in P2 and P6. Um, Jamie D95 has said that he can still hear us, so hopefully, oh, that's good. So hopefully everyone else can. So anyone who is watching the stream when Twitch has kind of gone down is still able to hear us. But Twitch itself has fully broken. I mean, on grid one, if you uh, if you take P1 with 25 points, you're probably already safe for the final grid. So yeah, that's that's great effort by Kevin. I mean, you should always 
you should have a bit of luck with the uh, the random grid order as Kelly McKean takes it in Mexico. Yeah, so um, there's the top ten who are currently obviously going to be in in the lead. So the other boys are really going to want to do something about it. Does Merck pick up pick up an extra point for that fa the fastest lap? Yeah, he, no, he does Probably. not. No, no, he does not. No, he doesn't. So th that doesn't count. I mean, these 20, 2006 Renaults looks absolutely great. He's going to try to get Monkey back in. I think he might have kicked him out. Try and get him in. On to Brazil. Random grids. Got the points nice and there for everyone. Yeah, so I think last uh, on grid one with 15 points, we're already, already safe for the final grid. So is it safe to say Freeman, J. Donnell, Callum are sorted for the, for the final grid? You might say so. Yeah, Monkey's managed to get back in. Yeah. That's good. Monkey's back in. Hopefully he can get a good result. He's going to need it now. It's getting to the point. If someone's had a bad race in the last race, it isn't too bad. But now it puts a bit of pressure on you for these two races. I've not been sure. It's, it's a smoke in the final race. He is in the final race. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, he had a good result in the... If France the first race then crashed out in uh, in Japan in those wet conditions. But yeah, as, as, you, as I said earlier, picking up P4, P3, you were almost already safe for the for the final uh, the final grid. So that's massive for Callum, Freeman, and Jay Donnell. So I wonder who is on pole. Can we see that already yet? Elliot is on pole with Gareth, I Callum, Original, and Monkey. So Monkey's in P5. So that's a great starting position for him to get a good race. As Jay Donnell is last of number two drive in the first race, as is Merckx in 14th, so there's some catching up to do. That's the way we go. Oh, look at that. That view is fantastic. Look at that. It's the sea of blue it's and yellow. It's all those Renaults, yeah. It's fantastic. Oh, there's a big crash at the back. It's Hitler and Rockamad. Yeah. Disaster. So, yeah. Rockamad, that's, that's not good for him. I'm pretty sure he didn't score in the last race. He's going to be in trouble. Oh, someone's round. Motion has his round again. Oh, Motion has his round again. Oh, no, he's in trouble. Oh, an original's crashed. Loads of people at the back crashing. This is Jay Donnell, I think. No, he, he managed so to the get minute, through that. The top yeah. 11, the top 11, have got a bit of a gap now. Merckx is down in ninth. Where did Merckx start? He started in 14th. Yeah, 14th so yeah. Merckx is up, up six places so far as Merckx. He's the biggest winner on level one so far. Yeah. It's Elliot, who's new to the league. He is winning. Oh, SLR Gareth, Gareth, not far behind him. Callum McKeon. Started in yeah, sixth, he's going to be P2 by the end of this lap. P2, exactly. As he takes it already. Right. So he picks up P2. I'm so, loving these I mean, cars. Yeah, they're lovely. Fantastic to see something a little bit different. This monkey gets a good run at Ikelem. Doesn't pick up the slip scene, that's kind of costing probably. As he just goes it through 
I kill him. I think ghosting is yeah, off. Yeah, I saw that. He managed to do that. <laughs> it is off, it's just yeah. when it's a connection problem. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's Freeman! Oh, I think that was... I think that was... I think that was Merckx. I think, I think Ericsson, that was Merckx. No, I just think Ericsson hit him, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I think um, Merckx went really wide and he came back on the track. He looked like an absolute madman. He just... I think it was I him. mean, Mer Merckx is uh, P6. He didn't... He didn't get a penalty for that, so he's long in life at the moment. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but it was... We seem to have another connection issue with I, Kellum and Gareth, but... As Monkey has... And, oh, no, everyone has just... Oh, as we are disconnected from the... At least I am disconnected from the, from the race. Are you still in or not? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, alright. Well, I just got... Kicked out, Have so. you just been kicked? Yeah. You just got kicked out? Right, get yourself back in, mate. Um... There you go. Yep, thank you very much. Gareth's getting eaten up here. Monkey's got him. Oh, they're lagging, and Monkey's not sure what's happened there. He was literally on top of him. <laughs> is that, Twitch yeah, is absolutely on one back. tonight, yeah. boys. I mean, we've not picked a good night to do this. No, Twitch is not liking us here. I think no, I think Twitch is back again. Yeah. I mean, on my on my laptop is back. So. Yeah, but it's got uh, so many so many issues going on. Yeah, but I think that's a race as well. I see a lot of guys lagging and being all okay. over the place. As we're trying to join back, yeah. As Monkey has left the session, so and oh, playing Teddy Teddy's right. Yeah, I just met, and he just Monkey's lagged down again. Oh no! As he resets the track, Hickling picks him up. Freeman crashed there as well. Playing Teddy he... resets the yeah. track. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh look at that! Who's that? That's I Callum. Some sort of error at turn one. Not quite sure what happened there, but he's lost places. As Bean gets a good run. Callum McKeon. Yeah. Oh, Callum McKeon's winning around. again. Yeah. He's loving them 2006 course. As Gareth goes around the outside, I think. Or in the key position of Icallum. Icallum down the inside of Gareth, so he picks up P5. That's a great battle for P5 here. And then Merck's right on the back of its Elliot. Up the inside here. Merck's has got that. Freeman sets the fastest yeah. lap, so it's not going to be a good result for yeah. Freeman. Might be in a little bit of Jayden danger going into the, the last Garrow. race. It's Gareth's stiff in the space, so look at P6. Yeah, as I said, as we said, Freeman picked up a great result in the first race with 15 points, so... He can afford it. It's probably going to be okay, race. yeah. Yeah, he can afford it. The motion has just got himself back in the points, he's in P9, he's finally going to pick up some points, that'll be good for him. Yeah, he spun on lap one, didn't he? So we're already in our last lap, so... Kellen McKean is going to take this one as well. How about the time penalties? That's going to be interesting. As Elliot and Sonnen just go as Gasly and Hamilton to the line, and Sonnen takes it. As I Kellen takes them both with time penalties, so that's great. Stuff by him. Gareth is eighth. Motion in ninth. Monkey in tenth. Yeah, he picks up his first point as he was ghosting. As Freeman picks up another fastest lap, but he won't get a point for that. I mean, that second race done already. Those laps are flying. Mm -hmm. right?
Let's hopefully see him some, some slightly better racing. Yeah. I in mean, the next first race, race was, it was yeah, a... the first race was good, but in the second race, just complete opposite of that. I mean, it's safe to say that Callum McCain is uh, through to the final grade. I'll yeah, Callum might as well yeah. have a night off. Yeah, exactly. I will he, might get, he might as well just chill. There are a few, yeah, a few guys just can't uh, check the stream on Twitch, so I can, but... Yeah, I can see it. 22 viewers. 23, as you say, say, and that's China for the last race, so... How about T1? That's going to be interesting as well. I mean, Kellen McGee, he's for certain almost P1 if Merckx doesn't win this race. Have you got any advantage uh, advantage if you're picking P P1 up in this uh, first no. few races or no? No just... advantage. No. no, no, no. It's just everything's going to be completely the, random. Again. Yeah. Stream's good now. Just that's good. That's kind of can just said that. As we have a third the right race who is on pole oh and Kelly McCain is on pole so he's been lucky with that he's on pole again yeah he's on pole Freeman on he's not lost. yeah he, he is. is I mean that's a uh, wow that's a lucky end you sometimes get with the random uh, the random grid orders as much yeah as well we'll see if he, we'll see if he gets um, we'll see if he gets that lucky next time yeah, maybe it's just using all his luck in the first few races and then we'll find a way at solving P20 two times. That would be awful. As we have... Five, oh, I can't see them, it's just a lovely view I've got. Yeah, Ken McKean is gone. That's his motion hazard, so he's a bit of luck in P2. Can we get a good, good shot? I mean, this kind of good. It looks like Callum's got away unscathed. Let's hope yeah. for some better driving between these boys now after like the shenanigans last time. Cross. Up the inside goes Gareth. And Jay Darnell's gone well wide yeah. there. Pickling around the outside. Oh no! He went right on the outside, just like yeah, I think Max Verstappen did it a few years ago. Lewis Hamilton and just lost the car. I mean, the, their race are over. Gareth's gone very deep. Yeah, there. very, very. Deep. I mean, he got the position, but Freeman's yeah, loving Freeman it. Freeman at the inside. Yeah. Into in the slipstream of Gareth, so he'll probably take P7 at the end of this race. Oh, Gary, there, that's a lot being some bit of a kick there from the corner as he went to exit the corner. Motion has us having a good race though at the minute. He's fighting for P2 here with Mooks actually he's demonstrating some of his Div 1 pace, which is good to see. A wheel to wheel here for turn two, and Mooks is gonna miss out there just he's gonna try and have the inside is here. He, is he though? 
into the slipstream maybe. Can I make it? Yeah, he's probably going for it. Merc's down the inside, yeah. Goes deep, so the switchback move by Merc. Oh, that's lovely. Is he going to stick it? A fantastic no, racing between yeah, these Merc's two. Yeah, Merc wants it. Merc wants Great it. Great racing here. I mean, Merc's can afford a, uh, that's brilliant. a crash. As I can't, so... Interesting to see them. Fighting for P2. That's good to see these two in a nice little battle. Damn, the grid things are getting a little bit say, tight now. Yeah, it's safe to say that Kelly McCain is just that's the perfect three first races. He's easily yeah, we could, getting he's, that. I mean, he's had it. He's had it. He's had it quite lucky. He's yeah. been fortunate. So here we go again with um, Merckx and Hazard. Made it count. Yes, yeah. As Merckx takes it, there's a lovely view. Defends to the inside. Has is going to try switch back. Merckx has got that covered. So after a lap of battling, Merckx takes P2 finally. Streaming's round the outside of Ikelum into turn one. Ooh. Streaming down the inside of Ikelum now. Gives him a little love tap for good luck, for good measure. Gets a better exit out of three. That's a dummy, he's going down the inside. Too far, yeah, way too far. I can't pick up the position again. Great battles around here in China. Jay Darnell and Rockamad up the inside. Ooh, Callum <laughs> hits the back of Rockamad. Yeah. And I Callum, sorry, not I Callum, Callum McKean has got some unbelievable yeah. pace in these cars. I was going to talk about it. I mean, he won't matter. He doesn't matter about not being broadcasted. Picks up P1 this race again. As it said to say, Freeman's down the inside of Icalum again. This time takes it. Gareth and Gary. Close at the back of the top ten. Hopefully these two can get through to the final. It'll be quite nice to see these two through. So Freeman with a great race, picking up seven positions. That's a Jay Donnell with five. This bean is down the inside of Gareth. Oh, Gareth. Yeah. Oh, the sun is going to... Oh, it's Gareth's round completely. Oh, oh Gareth <laughs> lost it completely. And Gareth, I'm not sure is he going to get through. As we are on the final lap now, so... It's going to be interesting to see if he gets through.
Interesting to see the gap between Merckx and Callum hasn't really changed that much. No. So if the two of them can actually... If Callum doesn't get lucky in terms of his grip position, then it might not be as easy as he's made it look this time. Gary closing up to the back of Elliot might fancy a move. Oh, the back straight. Freeman closing up to rock a mad a little bit now. Gary's now on the back of Rockamad. He tries to break the slip, the slipstream. It looks like he's been quite successful in doing so. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there goes Kevin Gary. It's already up past the finish line. Round the outside. He goes for a switch back here. Goes being emotional or SLR being sorry. It's Elliot defends the inside. He's probably going to keep this. And he is going to hold that. Being emotional comes home P9, Southerner and P10. Victor Gareth round off the remaining drivers. Let's see now who makes it into our final grid. Let's go on to the standings whenever the screen loads. Yeah, standings. Yeah, 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 there yeah, you go. Right. There's our top ten. Callum McKeon, ARL Merckx, Jay Darnell, Freeman, Callum, Southerner, Elliot, Motion Hazard, SLR Bean and Hicklin. Gareth spinning at the end might have cost him. Yeah, exactly. misses out. So probably they've won with Saber Gareth. Makes him losing it out on uh, the top ten. So they, they'll advance to the final grid, which should be ready in about five minutes at least. So Kelly McKean with the three phenomenal races, picks up P1 in every one of them. But he'll start on a nil in the first race on the final grid as well, so no advantage. All right, Beast him. invited me. I'll just yeah. get in there and then I'll bring, give you an invite. That would be lovely. Only one time penalty in this race. Only one penalty? Yeah, That's a lot better. Penalty. The racing yeah. was so, so much better in that race than it was in... Exactly. I mean, the... Uh, the in Brazil. Yeah, the the fight between Merckx and uh, Hazard is great as well. Yeah. As I get my invite. Alright, we need SLR Bean. We need Freeman. We need... Yeah, you. Cal McKeon. I'll start. Oh, there's a lot of people already. So now I'll go on to the 29 Braun GP car. Hitlin and Callum. Can't work out who else there is. There is uh, Darnell and Southerner and Elliot. We should have 20 drivers for this race, these three races. So I'll quickly check which races are going to be Abu Dhabi, Singapore and Spain. So Singapore. Yeah, that's fine. Give him five minutes. No problem. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. Gives us five minutes just to chill as well, then to rest our voices a little bit. Yeah, I talked about it with uh, Ricks on Friday. When is the pay rise gonna be? Uh, gonna be no, on the mailbox. <laughs> uh, I wish. Imagine making money. Nineteen drivers. We just. Yeah. Oh mate, that's the way forward. 19 drivers, we're just waiting on one more. I mean, when are we going to ask contribution of everyone driving in the leagues? That's a good point. 
I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's all for fun. It's all for yeah, fun in games, is. really. But it's uh, for people every do it more. Yeah, people for, do it. For every people don't do it for you, money. Uh, no, that's right. That's true. It's just a sense of community and enjoyment, really. Uh, that's what. That's. I mean, I think everyone really who has some sort of uh, responsibility in the league, especially, can all tell you that there's no money involved, anything. But really, it's all. Um, it's all just enjoyment. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what it boils down to. Just being yeah. part of a community, being part of a team. It's nice to kind of uh, keep on top of things, sort of. So um, anyway, yeah, but it's, it's just it's quick to point out we're going to see the brawn in this final, mm-hmm. in these final three races. Um, hey, we've got Abu Dhabi coming up next. Imagine if we get some rain in Abu Dhabi. That would be fantastic. <laughs> I think I've ever uh, seen that before. That, that won't be. Uh... I mean, the chances of that being, uh, of that happening, is probably none. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's like it's like having it's like having rain in Bahrain. It's just not going to happen. No, it isn't. Right, just a few more minute break for the drivers. I'm just looking at the uh, Wikipedia at the 29 Braun GP car with the results they got. So in the first seven races, they got uh, only in the third race, Jensen Button didn't pick up P1. But then after race 8 to 17, only two podiums. I mean, and then Rubens, Rubens Bar- uh, Barrichello picked up three podiums. Yeah, three. I mean, only 100, 172 uh, points at the World Championship that time. That's, that's so. It was a monster, though, wasn't it? It was a absolutely. Yeah, it was. Car. Yeah. Especially compared to all the other cars, only two DNFs. As we have 19 drivers on the grid so are we missing one or the mate's in Callum McKeon no no he's in no, he's, in. no he's not he's in oh. some of the... that would have been a story ah there we go I mean that would have been a story Callum McKeon just finishing the first three races on P1 and that not able to join this session. What would you think about that? I needs to be um, this car. I mean, all, uh, uh, be gutted all for nothing. Way. Yeah, all for nothing now. Right, what time are we ready and up, Beast? Only four. Okay. So these are the ten best drivers in each of the two grids that we've seen now coming together. If you had to put your, your neck out there, stick your neck out there, Dylan, you had to predict um, your top three. Well, that's a difficult Who's your one. top three? It's hard to say because of the random grid orders. Uh, I would give. Uh, I mean, yeah, Beast is in this party, so huh? Top on Beast, he'll P1. <laughs> Love to see it, huh? Um, no, I just I'm really got no clue. Kill him, I think. Uh, I think Beast will. I think Beast will fancy himself. He was massaging his ego earlier on this morning <laughs> by when he was in a when he was in a team at Marlet video. I think it was in 2018 or 17. Was he? Oh, okay. He was. Uh, yeah, he was in a team at Marlet video and he won the race. And uh, team at Marlet was like, "Oh look, Beast won. Oh look, no surprise, Beast won the race." And he uh, absolutely loved it. <laughs> he put it in the chat for us all to see. If you scroll back, I'm sure you'll find oh, it. It was only this morning. I look for it. 
Wait. Who's, uh, he's in the he's in the party, he's beast, but he's, uh, yeah, no yeah, comment there. No, so no comment he, on that. Yeah, no comment. I mean, he's a bit shy now. Yeah, got nothing, nothing to say about that. I mean, what's your what's your uh, username? I used to have a laptop <laughs> record around. <laughs> around Spain. Wow. Good on you. No, Nineteen drivers again. And the voice keeps breaking. How do you know who it is so quickly? <laughs> How do you do that? He's on top of things. Oh no. Yeah, F1 2018. Yeah, no. One gear only challenge. That's the one, yeah, you find it and then skip, skip to, to like five, five minutes. 30. 40, 40 surprise, yeah. he says. <laughs> oh. Wait, wasn't oh, that the, yeah, the race that you just need to uh, press start and then it would drive into like third or fourth gear and then. Wait, I'll just check it. I've got no idea, he's the one to tell us. Yeah, I mean, Beast, give us a, a comment on that. The box now, what, what was the question, sorry? So yeah, what, what's, uh, how did you manage to be in this race? Uh, I, he he uh, posted something on Twitter and I was just like, I might as well join. I saw it like just after he posted it, so mm. I managed to get in before it filled up. Wait, I'm F525 then... now, so... Yeah, we're just waiting for motion hazard. We do have a two second time penalty, which was unfairly given to us. 535. Wait, am I, am I missing it or? Okay, oh, you get. <laughs> there he is. Wait. I wouldn't expect wait, anything wait. less. I'll just get that. Wait. Probably running all the assists he could at the time. <laughs> literally no bigger claim to fame. Yes, we are readying up this motion again. So motion has it. Motion has it. Yeah. We've got 20. Get ready, la ladies and gents. I'm gonna untick my box again, so I'll be back later. That's right. oh, mate. Oh. Yeah, good luck, mate. Yeah. You gotta live up to that reputation now. <laughs> What are you using it? Alright, so give me your top three. Um, yeah, as you said, it's all dependent on... Alright, so give me your top three together after seeing the, the, the grid together. order for the first race. After seeing some after things After seeing saw, the grid order on the first race. I'm going to say, in, in, in no particular order, Pluto, Kala McKeon. Mm-hmm. And ARL Mercs. I thought you were going to say that, yeah. I mean, they, they, kind of, yeah they looked equal to each other. I want to say, I, to be honest, it could be Freeman, it could be Smoke, it could yeah. be Beast, it could be any of these boys, really. Yeah, exactly. It could so be Motion Hazard, he showed some really good first. pace in China. So Smoke's it's all down to pick, grids. Up, uh, pick up P1 for J Donnell and Division in third. As... Kelly McKean is in 19th yes. now. <laughs> oh, oh, what a scene. Beast is 16. Beast down in 60. Freeman 11. And maybe Callum's used up all of his luck in yeah, the previous yeah, lobby. So. Maybe use it. <laughs> what a scene. <laughs> For real. That's so funny. I mean... Right. He can, he can prove himself, right? Go to him. He can prove himself. If you finish, uh, yeah, hopefully he five, can keep, keep out of trouble. Yeah, exactly. As we have a great view. Oh, look Here at those go. cars! Yeah. It looks fantastic. Here we let's go. As Jado now picks up a Smoke great to get a start. shocking start. Yeah. Oh, someone's gone through there. Bit of. A little bit of someone's gone round at the back. Yeah, Callum McKeon went round by oh, himself. No. Callum McKeon went round by himself. Para's come back no. on the track. So Callum's now last. No. And he's going to be in trouble now. This oh, is, oh, right no. at the inside. Oh, we have a lot of crashes. 
It's Elliot there, just went yeah. straight through someone. And someone's gone around in the middle. <laughs> Wait, <I haven't laughs> Craze Bear. <laughs> Craze Bear oh, Beast. I'm not sure who, but someone just absolutely destroyed. Maybe we should have put damage on. Oh, Division picking up P1. I just saw a little mistake by Jay Donnell losing the oh. backhand. It looks like Pluto just kind of swiped. Hicklin, Hicklin's been collected. Hicklin's has been collected. Oh, no. I mean, now Killer McKean is in 14th already. It's hard to tell really what happened there, but definitely sort of side to side contact. These guys are going crazy up front, though. Yeah. Racecraft is well and truly going out the window. I know it's not the prettiest <laughs> thing to see, folks. But it's nice to see something a little Bear bit different. Us. This Bear is crazy. <laughs> this is not what the normal lobbies are like if you're new around here. This is not what we are usually like. Oh, Merck's just retired. Oh, Merck's just retired. I mean, he used his luck, huh? As this the is vision not what is the usual lobbies are like, but it's nice. Freeman and Elliot going side to side. He was in second, now in sixth, maybe even seventh. And there oh, goes Pluto. Pluto's hit the side. That was his own oh, fault, I think. Yeah, it was his own fault. Yeah, it looked like it. Yeah. So the vision for six, from second to six, two turns. And Jay Donnell's got a 2.7 second lead, my division yeah. team teammate. Leads the way. Steve Ebrick, hi guys, how's it going? Hello, the GOAT. It's I mean, have a look right. at that. Yeah, have a look at that. Callum McKean is already in 12th now, so he was last on, at corner one and at 12th. Right behind Grace Bear, mm -hmm. probably taking P11 from him. Let's say, oh, they touch at 190 miles per hour. Callum McKeon's got Grace Bear, who's going around the outside, oh, and they're going to have the Ooh. inside. As Southerner is just lagging all over the place. Division up in fifth with Freeman 1.7 behind him. Oh, someone's round there. That's, it's Elliot, he's oh, round. Elliot, yeah. Yes, he's round again. And he's round again, he's been... Yeah, he's round again. Beast gets a little shove from Bean, and... Beast lost up... Jay Daniel has a 3.5 second lead. Yeah, he's looking good. Smoke, three times behind, check this out. Oh, smoke! Oh, the smoke! Smoke! Almost so lost I it. Wow! That. How did? Yeah. How, how did he, he manage to got caught that? I saw that on board with Callum. That was fantastic. <laughs> how he managed to got that. <laughs> oh, who's round there? That's Codmaster. Codmaster's hit the brake. He's hit the uh, the brake board, and it's just spun him round. I'm not quite sure what how he lost it there, but he definitely. Definitely has VW's gas and Hicklin Hicklin again. Oh, is, it, uh, is that Callum McKean? Behind Callum McKean all over the show. Callum McKean up into P10. Smoke is probably going to get overtaken by I kill him into this next left hander. Smoke's on the outside. Just did it. Oh, Smoke is almost round again. Just touch it. the DRS ball. This Freeman is. Looking for a move on the vision around the outside. Great defending by the vision. So yeah, Jay Donnell, 4.2 seconds. 4.4 even. So he's looking fine for this first race. It's Grace Bear and Pluto go at it once again. Oh, Craze Bear. Oh, oh Craze that? Bear. That yeah, was poor. Was that? Yeah. that was poor. And Beast's last. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't see that. He's all the way down oh, the belt. Oh, oh. All the way down the bottom. Maybe the pressure from Team yeah, Modric uh, yeah. has done I mean, for him. Smoke, I just heard, yeah, I smoke's heard off. Modric smoke's is, off track. Uh, smoke's lost watching, it in the middle of the track. He's almost hit Callum McKean. Yeah. Smoke's on the racing line. He's hit Gaz. 
smoke sat on oh the my. racing line facing oh the boy. wrong way. Oh and he's boy, yeah. <laughs> Bro, and para, I was so I late to that. Oh, oh that was a miracle how we only hit those two. I was so late to that, unfortunately. Were you on board with that? Did you see him just facing no, the No, I wasn't, yeah. I was oh, looking at wow. the beast and the silly bunny just retires. He's not having fun at the moment. Okay, donnell has got almost a six second lead. Yeah. As Beast goes down the inside of it's Elliot and gets him before the turn. Great move by him. So the real only on-track battle for this moment is Freeman at the vision as Freeman goes wide. Paraquicks, yeah, Paraquicks overtakes Hickling. Oh boy! Uh, he just got a little shove from uh, Paraquicks. He picks up a time. Hickling's like had an absolute yeah. nightmare. Yeah. Hickling's been involved in everything tonight. <laughs> yeah. And somehow we're on that five, it feels like yeah. that 15. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and Freeman lost oh, it. Oh no, Freeman, lost Freeman it. spun yeah. it. Oh. And almost Callum McKean lost, loses it as well. Yeah. Pair of quicks for 10 seconds, deep. well that's not a... Uh, well, that's that gonna yeah. give him points. So I kill him, two tens behind, check this out, the only on-track battle on the last lap. He's surely gonna send it here, yeah, Callum's gonna have to send it. Goes around the outside, He's gonna come the move. inside yeah, now, nice lovely. move by Callum. Spare quicks overtakes Bean. Good move by him. As Jay Donnell takes it. He overtook uh, Smoke at the start and just. Ran off by the time. Uh, by the time we were back at him, he just uh, won the race. This beast picks up the fastest. Level. It's an easy win for Jay now, really. Yeah, it is. Absolute chaos elsewhere. Mm. And now we're going to Singapore, so things can only get worse. Yeah. Wow. I mean, these races are fun to watch. Chaos everywhere. <laughs> I got to get I five, got five times in a race. race. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah, I did see that. I mean, he posted some uh, ha 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 behind it, so he's probably having a good laugh. <laughs> oh yeah, the stream shot up, mate. <laughs> good old Siva, the goat. So there you have it. Para with 17 seconds of time penalties. So Merckx didn't even put up a lap, so... Maybe he's rooting for more luck on the second race. I think you say Merckx will be in the top three. I think I heard you say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in the top three, not in yeah. any particular order, but he was in there. I mean, Callum McKay um, eighth. That's uh Yeah, decent recovery. Motion Hazard had a good race. 
just to start in P13 as well. <laughs> I would love to see that uh, that move with Para on uh, on Heckling again. Just shoved him off the track. There we go. That was that. On to Singapore. I mean, this race should be taking a little bit longer. As the Singapore laps are one of the longest on the calendar. Who's going to be on pole this time around Singapore? Absolutely vital to be high up, the, high up the order. <laughs> Ekling just said, "Shoved." I got a, I got a coffee in one of the stands. <laughs> oh my god. Blackie fan racecraft yeah. is awful. Was there, there any racecraft? Was there any racecraft? Yeah, that tends I mean, to be the case when we well, put, when we when we, we, make, yeah. we make this sort of event and we put damage off and we give people the license to kind of race against people they're not usually used to racing against. So uh, that tends to happen from time to time. I can assure you that doesn't happen very often in a weekend. Yeah, and then it did, just then... starting 18th now, so this luck is over. Just not a lucky day for him. Freeman got second with Silly Bunny on first. A little bit more luck for Beast at eighth. Jade on L fourth, so he looking good for the win. All right, Silly Bunny. Yeah. At Where's the front? Um, motion Hazard at the front as is Jarnell. Yeah, so I've just checked that out. I've just seen that. And check this out, and Darnell, and uh, um, well, not really smoke, but that's going to help them out. If they can keep it clean, they could put themselves in a prime position to win this thing. Let's go. Freeman's had a great start. Yeah, first already. Let's hope the racecraft is a bit better this time. <laughs> it, looks a bit, it looks better. It looks a bit better. There's motion oh, on no. the side of the city. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, he no. shouldn't have said that. Oh, <laughs> Jade on there. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Why did you say that? That's bad luck. Uh, I don't know. Motion has some too, though. Round. It's a fantastic yeah, start for him. So after just scraping through by the skin of his teeth in grid two, motion has it. If things go like this, can put himself well. in pole position to win this thing. Check this out. He's not far behind either. Beast is in fifth. He needs a, he needs a good race. He's gone a bit wide though. Darnell's going to be looking at the inside of Beast here. Just Look at this. Wheel to wheel. Darnell. Darnell who's braver on the brakes. Darnell what a move. Brilliant racing from Darnell. Finally some really really good racing there. Oh I mean, camera's got, going. Camera is very there. nice to go through the yeah. tunnel. He still lost the position on the first lap. but Smoked round in the tunnel. I'm pretty sure that was himself. So Bean picked up 10 positions on lap 1. Starting 19th already yeah, he's up done well. Nine, yeah. Just stayed out of trouble, right? Yeah, Bean's done well. Para's right behind. Check this out. And Jay Darnell's not far behind Para. As Smokes is round again. Beast. Yeah, Smokes around again. So, as he's just reversing on the track. Yeah, <laughs> I love to see it. <laughs> he's had an absolute nightmare. As Para picks up a penalty, so... Already Smoke's coming team. in the pits, probably to retire. Yeah, Smoke's yeah. in now. Gonna be retiring. There you go. And he's left, so no third race probably for Smoke. Yeah, he's got a. I'm pretty sure he's got a league, a league race at quarter to nine, so he's mm, uh, okay. just about caught it. And he knew he wasn't gonna win anyway, so he's not got anything to miss on. <laughs> to miss out on. Para quicks. 
And Jade on there. Oh no, let's check this out. He's all over the power clear. Let's check this out. Having a great oh, battle. Oh, that's. He just gave him a shove. And that's helping Jade on there as well. Oh no. I mean, Jade on is an ideal position to win this. As he picks up a penalty, as I say. It. Motion hazard, motion hazard though, is going to be uh, putting him under some oh, yeah, severe yeah, pressure if he holds onto this P2. Well. Yeah. And it really could come down to who gets the luck of the draw on the grid mm -hmm. in the third race. Yes, we have a yellow flag in sector 3 somewhere. Don't know who that was. Freeman winning this race is going to put himself in a good position. Where did Freeman finish in Abu Dhabi? Uh, oh well, he spun on the last lap, I think, so probably like 8th, 9th, I think. Okay. So he needs a good result to even get a shot at finishing first or even on the podium. As he's flying right now. Three and a half seconds almost. Yeah. That's Silly Bunny's round, yep. Oh, Silly Bunny's round, yeah. yeah. Can he rejoin the track safely? Merckx is coming up to him. Oh, Merckx just lagged. Merckx just lagged back behind. Oh no, he's not. Yeah, he has. He's lagged back behind yeah, Hickling. Yeah. I mean, a little bit. Seems, the game seems right? to be doing that a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Freeman was sixth in Abu Dhabi, says Gareth. Okay. So Freeman winning this race is really yeah. going to put himself there again. I mean, he's. Yeah, he's kind of depending, he needs to depend on motion and uh, Jay Donnell where they're finishing. Oh, three with a penalty yeah, though. Penalty. I mean, he's oh, that was not, most is not close enough. Yeah. Pera Chris would like to get his brawn even next to an almost overtaking motion before uh, these five laps are over. They're flying by, already in lap four. Division right behind being hit. You might see him move into turn one. No, he's probably too far back, I think. Yeah. Oh, what a look. Half hearted little look. Yeah. Trying to put off Bean. How about the exit on turn two? Or maybe even three, I don't even know. Tries a wider line, cutting back. Yeah, that's a great move. Probably gonna get into a city body, just retires. Is the vision gonna take this? Who's brave on the brakes? Oof, they're still side by side. And that's being round, I think. Oh, was he's that? right yeah, there. That's round. It's Cop Master just went he straight on. What's that? Oh yeah, it's Gaz, yeah. He devs Gaz round, yeah. Well anyway, the vision takes that position. And that's I'm a Kellen and Pluto. Oh Pluto down the inside? No. Things better of it. I mean, what what scenes would it create if we put a uh, simulation damage on for the final race? <laughs> Just throw no a little mix <laughs> No one will I finish. I mean, Jade on will probably be I think we should probably there. do that. Yeah, I mean, that hey, would you know what? I think simulation damage, could, simulation damage could probably be our next invitation. you definitely give me yeah. an idea. That would spice things up, huh? I mean, that would be funny. I would be driving with simulation damage on. I would enjoy that so much. Just having a good laugh on a Monday night. For sure, for sure. We're going to try and... Try and do something in the week if we can. Obviously, mm -hmm. everyone's still sat yeah. at home. Probably will be sat at home for a long period of time. Yeah, we have exactly. no idea. No one really knows how long this is going to last. Callum so, McKean um, has just retired, so he needs Callum, to. Yeah, Callum's, Callum's hopes are out of the window. Yeah. Um, 
But as I was saying, you no one really knows how long this is gonna last and how long everyone's gonna be stuck inside, but might try and do something in the daytime, the evening to yeah, quite busy but, from I mean, now on. We've got tomorrow night is the stewards meeting, Wednesday night is the start of our Wednesday reverse, reserve division. Yeah. And with the reserve division being run, we're also gonna see the end of the episode of the SLR side pod, the uh, the podcast. Yeah. And then Thursday is F2 races, of course, and then mm-hmm. Friday is Friday, Div, two, Div 2, Saturday Div 3, and Sunday Div 1. So Monday is really our only opportunity, unless we did something in the day on Tuesday, but not that's probably not going to happen this week, as nothing's been planned, and it's very hard to bring out something in very, very, very short notice. I mean, yeah. most, I mean this, was, this was quite short notice, but, I mean, that's tomorrow, and to get enough people to do it, it's probably going to be quite hard. People will yeah. still probably want to do their own things on Xbox or around the house, or... Streaming Some people might have to go shopping. Already, yeah, already crossed the line. Up P1, Freeman's Motion dominated second. that easy win for Freeman. Motion second and Beast four. So Beast's had a good result. So hopefully, mm-hmm. with a good result in the next race, he can help himself out a little bit. Check this out. I said a good result. Power Quicks with a good result. Motion has her. So we, we can, I think, the three at the minute, Freeman has her. And Joe Dunnell. Uh, sorry, no, four. Joe uh, Dunnell and check this out. Maybe you're going to be there or there. Yeah, about check something. this out. Was check third, out. I think, in the first race. So. Yeah, it was he third? So, yeah, he's definitely going to be uh, there or thereabouts. I can have had a good result in uh, Abu Dhabi. And not a too bad result here either. So, we'll have a look at. The standings. So Jaden now leading with two, Freeman two points behind him and three points behind them is Haza. So the top three covered in five points. That's going to be a uh, interesting last race. So Jaden now and Freeman, yeah, and then Haza. Check this out. Not too far behind, but it's going to be a big result. He's going to need a big result. Let's check this out. As is Callum and so is Division to. Uh, really make it work we need a bit of luck as well so at the minute yeah i mean with a bit of bad luck for J. Donnell freeman and yeah with a bit of bad luck J. Donnell freeman and has a starting be uh lost and having a uh, bad races even beast or quicks and division can uh can win this yeah there's a several people it could be i callum's yeah. definitely in with the chance mm-hmm. for sure sunday's race winner para quicks is yeah, he's, he's, he's he twenty points. Possibly yeah. win it. I mean, he, he can. can, he can, he can still win it. It's unlikely, but he can. I mean, never root out, root out those Dutch boys. Yeah, without a doubt. Let's we'll go to the last race now. Spain, it is. I mean, what scenes would it create if it's wet now? <laughs> I really hope it is. I mean, Freeman lie. probably doesn't. Uh, Freeman and Motion and the uh, Czech and Jay Donnell won't like a wet race, but we would love to see it. Yeah, crack this set. Can't wait till spawn Saturday. Rain on Arouche. <laughs> will be fun. <laughs> well. I'm shocking around Belgium. It's crazy. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not one of my favourite tracks. Oh, I used to love it until yeah. you know, until uh, Rouge became undrivable <laughs> for some people. So, I mean, yeah, qualifying first in Belgium. If we go, uh, if we go there. Maybe isn't even a, g- a good spot to be in. Maybe second or third is even better. With Arouche and Radion and then Camel Straight. But that's uh, in a few days of time. Yes, we'll see who is on pole. It's Elliot, Hecklin, Division, Para. So Motion is one place behind, ahead of Jay Donnell and Freeman in 14. So he needs. A good start and staying out of trouble if he like a shot at the win. B's down in 17, so 
No luck for him. Merck's connection is done, he says. He's, he's, he's no. it's a big yikes. So let me know who's going to win it. After seeing the, the grid. Hey, I'd, like to see, I'd love to see Jay Donnell win it. My teammate, Div2 teammate. I'd love to see him win it, but... It's nice to see some different names at the top as well. Um, exactly. Mojo has had a tough, had a tough, tough go of it in his grid, but he's done well here. As we're already underway. Mojo has and Darnell set, side by well, side, aren't they? So this is going to get really interesting. And I mean, Mojo has a Freeman and Darnell are all quite close together. And then someone's round. It's Callum McKee, and he's round. And he's round. No, Pluto's him. round. Spun yeah. by himself. No luck for him. As Freeman is round, is he? He's in 18th now, 17. So. Oh, Freeman, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, this is Freeman. Yeah. That could be Freeman's hopes over. Yeah. It could be His between Darnell really and Motion has They were side they were behind each other. Wait, so, so is winning. Yeah, win. Motion needs to pick up a few plays. I've He's got, five points behind. Uh, I've got a screenshot of the results in front of me, so I can still keep tabs on the on the points. Yeah, I think he's five points behind Che Donnell, so he needs to pick up some places. Uh, che Donnell's probably going to overtake motion here. Who's brave on the brakes? Motion is. We're still going to get the front. We'll get the top three in at the end of this, and we'll have a nice little interview with him. Yep. If we can, that'll be decent. We've got. Check this out. He's in 12, so at the minute he's not going to be challenging. I can him. He's in ninth. He's not going to be challenging. Paraquix. He's in P4, and he's not going to be challenging at this at this rate. So at the minute, it's between J Darnell and Motion Hazard. As you said, five points separates them. And um, if J Darnell sticks in P7, that's going to be six points for him, and Motion Hazard stays in. Sick, that's going to be eight points for him. So, Motion Hazard needs to get two places. Yeah. So, the goal, needs to get... yeah, the goal of Jay Donnell is just stick behind motion whilst not being under attack and just taking this. And yeah, Jay Donnell's luckily got a second. To oh, Jay Donnell, him and... oh, he's oh. round. Oh, he's almost round. You get overtaken by I can just is he? Oh, look at this Hazard. And... Yeah. Um... I mean, this, this is the opportunity. No. Yeah, at the minute, at the minute, Darnell's still going to win this by yeah. one point, I think. Uh, wait, so... As things stand, but Hazard is... Yeah, Hazard's not really gaining. Well, Merck said his connection was done in, but he's still racing. He's still here. Eight, so that's eight. I think it's four points, so Jay Donnell's winning by one point at the moment. Yeah, yeah, winning by one point at the minute. But there's so many cars in front of Hazard <laughs> that if he could get past even one of them, he's going to be winning this thing. Oh, and he's almost lost it. Oh, Hickland's going is, very yeah, slowly, motion and Motion is Hazard's going to get past yeah, Hickland. In fourth. Is Motion Hazard in fourth, that's 12 points. Jay Darnell, is he going to get past? I think he, he needs to. Yeah. Yeah, he's up it's past crucial. him now. Jay I mean, Darnell, this is that's fun a big to pass watch. For him. I'm loving it. That's a big pass for him. Jay Darnell is yeah. now going to have eight points for, win it for, for, for this race at the minute. Motion has around 12, and as things stand, they don't know, will win by one point. point. Yeah. But he needs to try and get past Hicklin. He think he'll try and expect himself to get close to Hicklin soon. Was Ooh, SLR good, Bean's like... doing well on P3. Alright, so his motion picks up one point, or uh, one position now, he takes it, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. Ben Jadenell picks oh, up. Oh, who's that P5. going wide? Hicklin, yeah. Hicklin going wide. Hicklin's yeah. given giant. Oh, Hicklin's gone wide. He's given giant yeah. P5. Well, he gives a lot and of people Southerner, some places. Darnell's, Southerner, Darnell's brother. We've yeah. not really talked about him, but he's walking away with this. He's 4.8 seconds ahead of Division, and Division <laughs> is not slow. No, he isn't. For sure. Um, there's a lot of beans gone very wide there. Darnell really needs to Ooh. keep up with these boys. He's got power right behind him. I mean, motion is rapid. It's critical for motion that he picks up P3 now and Bean. Yeah. This is race critical. If yeah, motion gets probably past gonna, yeah, being probably gonna here, pick it, yeah. if motion gets past being here and they stay in P3 and P5, we're gonna have a tie. No way! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it'll be a tie. I mean, then we need so a one. It'll be on races. Yeah, then we'll be on oh, race wins, need... won't it? Oh so it'll yeah, be that's true. Now. As he picks up P3 now, that's a great move on the other side. I mean, he's going off to the vision now, 1.8 seconds. 
I don't think Hazard can get any higher than that. I think Hazard's probably maybe maxed yeah. out here at P3. But so Darnell just, needs to get SLRB. Are they, yeah, so they're tied at the moment, but Jaden L. At the minute, they're tied. Race, uh, they are tied with race. a lap and a half to go. Yeah. I mean, can Para Quiffs mess the party up for Jaden L with overtaking him? Only a half a second behind him. He's quick as well. That's Jay Donnell almost losing. Yeah, he him. is very quick. It's Para. Oh, I love him. Jay Donnell this. needs to gain on, oh, up, Para, on SLR being here. Yeah, Para is. Oh, he's got some, so much speed. Ah, has a little bit of a look. Bean goes a bit deep in that corner. Gives Donnell some time. He's going to have to try and get him on the straight here, is Donnell. He's really going to have to try and get him here. We could see a last lap pass here that wins the championship. That's Paraquit, yeah, Paraquit just picked up two second time penalties, so... And Bean Emotional's had a good run through that corner. And Darnell's going to come here, look at this. Yeah, he here he's coming, Darnell's coming, this is for the championship. Bean goes Emotional defensive. moves to one side, Darnell goes for the dummy around the outside now. It's he just takes it. it, wow. There yeah. you go, Darnell. That's championship for him, I think. And that was the, with that yeah. move, Darnell might have won the championship. That was a championship winning move. Yes, there's Callum McKeon. Parked up. So yeah, on the last motion, lap, yeah, on motion, the last lap, Jay Darnell has almost won himself the championship. Yeah, exactly. Almost, he's nearly there. Jay Darnell, uh, motion ain't getting closer to division, so... Division showing great pace as well. Even catching up to uh, some... Yeah. Started to catch up to Southerner. Southerner must have just got away at the start. Did he start on pole? Did Southerner? Uh, no, he got he a great. Yeah, he got, no, I think third or something. Started P3. Like that, he got a great. P3. Great, uh... Launch. Yeah, it's Elliot was on pole. He's retired. Mm. Well, so both John, Hicklin, he's Donnell in the back in motion. He's at, the Hicklin's lost it again. Hicklin's race. had an absolute nightmare. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so who's going to finish third? I'm not yeah. sure who's going to finish third. It could be. A Oh, I Callum spun on the final corner. That could have been oh. him in third. He's just he's just binned it. He might be checked this out in third. I think Freeman's uh, going to hold on to third. Maybe with one point, yeah, he might Freeman's do it. But... Down. So yeah, Freeman picks up B three. I think Freeman will be third. I think Roshin Hazard. He gave it everything. I think yeah. Darnell's won this. Yeah, he, he, Darnell certainly won it. I think uh, Freeman in B three because of his. Uh, Low starting position. Wow, wow. Well, it wow. took it took a few races, but we finally got there in the end. That was that yeah. was fantastic to watch. I mean, wow, no other word for it. That was fantastic. A last lap overtake, then wins it. Jay Donnell wins. Look at that, Freeman with one point. That one point beats division because of his race wins. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Jay Darnell, 47 points, wins by two. Motion has a Freeman tie with division, but wins, well, comes third on race wins. Southerner P5, that win at the end, propelled him way up the order. Check this out P6, Power Quicks P7, I Callum P8. Could have been a bit better for him. He would have been up past Power if he hadn't spun at the end. SLR Bean had a good race at the end. P9, Beast 10. Silly Bunny 11, Pluto 12, Callum McKeon 13. It didn't happen for him. He only got four points this time after dominating in his grid. Godmaster 14th, VW's Gaz 15th, Merck 16th, Hicklin 17th. who had an absolute nightmare. And it's Elliot. Didn't have anything much better than that. He was in P18 in the championship. And we have our winners. Let's try and get them into the party, shall we? Mm-hmm. Oh, I just invited Sun there. That wasn't my intention. I think Freeman's turned the Xbox off, so we're not sure we're going to get Freeman. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, maybe P4 then. We're definitely going to get by the... Yeah, and we'll get Southerner in instead. Right, well, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll commence yeah. our interviews, boys. If you just quickly um, go on, yeah, tick your box at the top of the party, please, and you will uh, be able to be heard by everyone on the stream or watching the stream. Start with you, Southerner. Well, 
so this is your first event in a SLR, mate. So congratulations. It was a you've done well in in making it through to the final grid, and obviously you smashed the final race. So give us a bit of a rundown on how that how it was for you. Yeah, the whole event. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 No worries, big who gets the uh, <laughs> after you after you put your message in Discord yesterday? Who gets the top bunk tonight? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh, no, okay. Don't tell the wow, world. Um... <laughs> Can't believe you just said that on stream. That <laughs> uh, congratulations, mate. Well done. Did you want to? No, oh, you just go on. Um, I'm loving it live has at the a... moment. No, go on. I'm loving life at the moment. I'll just listen. Okay, well, Hazard, congratulations, mate. P2. It was... We were loving that, obviously. We were just saying to Dylan, it took, it took time to kind of to kind of kick off everything, really. <laughs> but at the end, you were yeah. winning. <laughs> you were winning the championship on the last lap and then turn one... Darnell goes around the outside of Bean, and there you go. You yeah. Lose it out by two points, mate. But fantastic. And he just really, and he just really made it through your grid. It's a couple of inf unfortunate yeah. you know, incidents. You've got but... to be in it to win it. To be fair. And obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. some good moves um, in the Spain race from seventh to get up to third. And obviously, the Singapore one, I held up quite nicely in second as well. So I was kind of glad of. Yeah, it was nice to see. It was nice to see you up the front because obviously, not everyone does. But obviously, having known you uh, as a racer for a while, you know you definitely yeah, got some pace. So it was nice to see you up there or thereabouts. How are you? Uh, yeah, definitely. Were you keeping an eye on Darnell? Did you know what the the gap was? Were you like you gutted when you saw that you nah, got past me? No, not I was just, I was just focused about what I was doing and trying to maintain um, that position I was in to try and get the most points as possible, which has got me here. So, which I couldn't be happier. Well, congratulations, mate. Well done. We'll see you on Sunday. Thank you. Mate. Yeah, definitely. Right. And on to my Division 2 teammate, Darnell. Congratulations, Indeed. mate. Well done. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> I bet you're buzzing with that. I am buzzing. Um, obviously, I've been in SLR for, I don't know, it's almost a month now. And I've the last two races in F1. I'm so unlucky because I've DC'd from both. And uh, to win this, is, yeah, good, good confidence boost, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, you know, there's... I mean, obviously, the Division 2 race on Friday was an absolute disaster in terms of uh, connection yeah. and several people getting booted out. It was, yeah, I can imagine this is this is a nice thing to take into Friday. And I mean, I hope it is from your sake. It would be nice to, for us to get some points. It would indeed. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I didn't even realise what was kind of... I know I was racing Motion Hazard and uh, Freeman, and I was in a chat with my other mates, and as soon as I finished the race, I didn't really know if I'd won it, and they said that the move I did on the last lap, I'd won it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, we had we were keeping um, we were keeping tabs on it, and we at one point we, there was when when Hazard was third and you were fifth. You're like, well, now they're tying, and it looks like Dianel will probably win on races one. But it was gonna be, it was genuinely gonna be a tied championship, and then obviously you're gaining on Gary, gaining, gaining, and he got a good exit. And I was thinking, hold on, is he actually gonna yeah. get him here? And the slipstream was so powerful, mm. and he just, yeah, was... you made it hard for you as well. He definitely didn't make it easy for you moving to the inside. No, definitely not. I thought I'd be ballsy and go for it around the outside, and it looked like he breaks a little bit earlier, and then yeah, it was not bad. It was quite a good one. Would have been nice to look at. <laughs> Imagine just disconnecting from the last lap. How about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been something. That would have hurt. That would have hurt, yeah. yeah. Well, well done, uh, mate. Fantastic. It was obviously, from our perspective, it was uh, it generally was a bit slow in getting going. Obviously, there was some shocking driving. I'm not going to lie. There was some really, really poor driving <laughs> yeah, from some people. The Brazil people race was quite points. messy. <laughs> yeah, I think, it, yeah. Abu Dhabi one, one was them. terrible. Yeah, I think I don't know about that. Was one of them as well. <laughs> that was a yeah. shocker. 
Yeah, I think Jaden was, was like five seconds bad. in front, so. I can't remember what the worst one was, but there was yeah, that, uh, yeah Abu Dhabi. The first, the start of Abu Dhabi was not too great. But, that was um, shocking. I think China was. I best. think it, oh, China was. China but to be fair, this best. one was really yeah. good. Yeah, it was this really one was good. really good. Yeah. There was um, there was not that much. I mean, obviously there was some, which is always going to be expected, especially when you've got people from different pace and no damage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's helped us give us um, our new idea. We're definitely going to do something with simulation damage for our next invitation. Also, that'll be funny. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely going to yeah, lock definitely in that put next it time. On. Yeah, like bumper cars, I think. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, we're going to try and roll that out again at some point mm. this week if we can. Because we're also saying to Dylan, everyone's stuck at home. No one else has really got anything to do. So we're going to try and roll that out this week. So if anyone's watching and everyone who's here. Uh, stay tuned. We're gonna try and do some sort of inv invitational again uh, later on this week. But yeah, I think that unless Dylan's got anything else to say, I'm pretty sure no, that I'm summarizes not, uh, it. No, yeah. Great, great evening. Great evening. Yeah, it's been good. It's been yeah. good fun. Um, Shane Owen couldn't. Uh, Shane Owen's connection couldn't uh, stay with him. It's um, yeah, it's been good fun. Thanks for, I mean, thanks for jumping in, Dylan. Right, for the last uh, last few races with the connection. Uh... Issues, however, yeah, the, great races. Yeah, luckily so. we got them out of the way early. Yeah, exactly. Didn't seem to have that many <laughs> issues after. But um, yeah, congratulations, boys. Thank you. And I think that's 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 done.